Well, I got a new product. I saw a video of some lady on uh, YouTube was using this uh, material to make a kind of like a silicone tipped tool. Now, I know a lot of you like the tool that I have, uh, the silicone tip tool. This is uh, what I've got here. It's a great tool, but I want to see if I can make my own and uh, make it to the shape and size and form that I want. So I'm going to take a small piece of uh, wax paper. I'm going to tape it down to uh, my table here just so that it'll stay in place. So anyway, this is an AB mis mixture and you take equal parts of this stuff and I think it takes five minutes to set up. Silcum, Silicum, whatever. Anyway, this is the product. You get it online doesn't cost all that much. But I'm going to take, uh, let's see, I'm going to take a tool that I had made uh, with a uh, brush up on the end of it. But I figure if this is wire that I, bailing wire that I twisted using my power drill, and I've uh, looped over the end of it, and this is where I'm going to put this silicone. On. Oh, there we go. And it takes equal parts of this stuff. There we go. And I'm going to put the caps back on. Now you mix the two together, and you got about five minutes after you get it all mixed up to work out the uh, shape of the silicone tip you want. I'm going to try to make the same kind that I got on the uh, tip of the other tool, and just keep mixing till it's all blended. This is the first time I've done it, so, and I just watched her video on how to do this. I'll put a link to her video in uh, the uh, description below this video. Now, she used put it on a stick, and I was going to do the same thing, but I want to have something a little more permanent. She used... Uh, super glue to glue the uh, tip onto the uh, tool or onto the wood. I figure I can do the same thing with this. Now this is just an experiment right now. She made a round tool. I'm just going to make a shaping tool. Something for smoothing the uh, clay with. And I'm putting it on this wax paper because it's not supposed to stick, which it's doing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like I said, this is a complete experiment, and as you can see, it took very little of this stuff to uh, form this tool. All right, I'm just going to let this sit for now. Well, I'm just starting my uh, editing on my video, 
and this turned out really good uh, and yeah I'm gonna do some more twisted wire uh, type uh, handles because uh, I think what I'm gonna do is do one of those uh, heads on the other side of the uh, handle uh, make it smaller uh, but it's been almost an hour maybe a little bit more because the kid came over and started cutting my lawn and I've been out there helping him and it's been about, about an hour and it's stiffened up nicely this uh, uh, silicone and that's what it is really a silicone and because it doesn't stick to clay it's perfect for smoothing clay I can highly recommend this silly gum and uh, I think there's instructions here someplace but anyway it takes about five minutes to, for it to set up and uh, I would say an hour or so to harden up to a, a good point but uh, I'm not going to worry about this coming off this uh, twisted wire because it'd be impossible for it to do that uh. Okay, I've got some uh, little tacks to put back here. I'm going to put a texture in this uh, clay in the back here. Clean it up a little bit I'm using a agliptic uh, wire tool, one of the large uh, wire tools. And it's got real heavy duty uh, grooves in the uh, edge here that uh, will impart a uh, texture. I'll sign the back of the uh, coat. Got to carve off this. Uh... As I mentioned in another one of my videos, I came up with this signature uh, back in high school, back in 1965, and I've used it ever since. Put the copyright, which is 
good for my lifetime and 50 years after my death. Addition size, which will be an addition of 40. Try to make that 4 look more like a 4. Alright, that's the Viking. He's uh, finished. I got the base uh, done. Got it signed and copyrighted. And it's ready to go to the foundry. Good night, everybody. Oh, let's take a look at my tool real quick. Yeah, that'll work out nice. For smoothing out. So you might want to consider, if you can't get the tools that uh, I've got, you can make your own. And I would suggest uh, doing the uh, wire tool because uh, it'll keep this on your uh, tool without having it falling off. I'm going to cut, let's see, now I cut off the uh, end of the tool and uh, bent it back on itself. I'll probably put a little bit of that stuff down here just to keep myself from jabbing myself or cutting myself on the wire. But that's going to be nice. Uh, be a nice little tool. All right, good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.